Taliban bans long distance travel for women without male guardian. On December 26th, the Taliban government announced that women are no longer allowed to travel further than 45 miles or 72 kilometers without the companionship of a male relative. Mohammed Sadiq uh, Hakif Mahajer, a spokesperson for the Ministry of uh, the Propagation of Virtue and the Prevention of Vice, which is basically like the Ministry of like Moral Policing, told CNN that this law protects women from quote unquote disturbance. It is suspected that this law was passed to prevent people from escaping across the Afghan border to Iran. Uh, Sher Mohammed Abbas San Sanikazi, a uh, deputy minister of foreign affairs, stated in a press conference on the same day that, quote, hundreds of Afghans are fleeing the country to Iran daily. The Taliban's Ministry for Virtue and uh, the Propagation of Virtue and the Prevention of Vice asked the drivers to refuse rides of any distance to women not wearing the hijab and to stop playing music in their cars. Heather Barr, Associate Director of Human Rights Watch, stated that the new rules bring the country, quote, further in the direction of making women prisoners. Wait, is this coming a, a command from the top or is this uh, just some local Taliban is doing this? So my understanding is that this is the nation's ministry wow. for the propagation of virtue and prevention of vice. What the fuck are they doing? Like, do they not want, like, everybody is waiting to see, like, what the new standards are going to be, just finding an excuse to send aid. And this is the signals that they're sending right now. Like, are they not in, in? Like, are they not interested in like surviving? Like, this is yeah. By the way, I, I this is still by far way better than the Taliban twenty years ago. Still, even after all of this, right? Um, Im so imagine how bad for the moment. For the mo yeah, there is backsliding. Although the, I've but, watched a bunch of interviews recently, mm, and they seem very excited to talk to female journalists, which would have been unimaginable no, twenty years ago. No, okay, okay, it's still very different. Like these, are all they all have cell phones right now, smartphones right now. They used to smash, yeah, TVs back then. Actually, I saw a video of them smashing musical musical instruments. Just yeah, recently. they were destroying so a tabla. That's amazing. Um, yeah, I think I guess they don't care about just becoming economically viable like islam unbelievable what are they doing look at this excuse who is this talibani sympathizers in the fucking live chat i think this guy's a troll should i even highlight this because i don't even know if it's serious like <laughs> i think this is a troll i can't take this seriously <laughs> can you <laughs> this is a peaceful guy saying can you travel alone in dangerous place if you're a girl is and then look and then it continues like Taliban, <laughs> read this one. Taliban t just oh, took yeah. their independence away. Leave them alone, for God's sakes. The U.S. didn't have a woman in parliament until the 90... Unbelievable. <laughs> okay, no, we can't. That's... <laughs> this we don't cannot have be real. I can't even engage. I can't even engage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forcing women to become prisoners of men uh, is being compared to not having a woman in a parliament until the 90s. Um, we don't I think even have a parliament. <laughs> Yeah, to well, I mean, to Congress, but why can't you answer? This cannot be a real person. This this person is too stupid to be real. Like, I I can't tell like anymore. Like, it's this is how the, the level of stupidity in a live chat is so sometimes becomes so high that so I get sometimes I want to attack somebody, but then I have to stop because it might be just a troll. So I don't know if if I should go at them or not go at them. Right? You know what I mean? But this, that's how time, bad things are. We do, and then people are like, oh, I was joking. I was like, <laughs> what I have to deal with has co corroded my ability to tell. Um, okay, but let's just, let, okay, for the person saying, oh, well, can women keep, tra travel alone in dangerous places? That is a individual concern different from prohibiting women by law from doing so. Specifically, it has to be a close male relative. It can't even be just any any person who can serve as protection to you. Do you not see? <laughs> okay, I can't. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like it's so stupid. Like they're literally turning women into prisoners 
that have to take, get permission by like they're taking away the freedom of mobility away from it from women and this fucking moron is comparing them to the situation of women not being in the i mean i think it means con like the house until the 90s like not having female politicians for a while in the for a while in the united states like co comparing no, but we to did that. have congress women before then then what the fuck is this guy talking about <laughs> yeah like and then you know we're we're pointing out how stupid the, the guy is and it's like i think like if you're a troll you're a very believable troll you know what i mean like you're doing a very good job if you're if, if we're just a fucking moron then i'm really then sorry for you but if you're like just a troll you are you're making it very hard to detect that you're a troll that's how stupid you are if you're not a troll um unbelievable unbelievable yes yeah, so, priya saying yeah i was pretty sure he was a troll but now i'm not sure <laughs> guys they're comparing they're comparing women not being able to travel more than 72 kilometers away from their men they're comparing that with the situation with women not being able to be politicians in the u.s until the 90s that's how that's how that's the level of that's the taliban um apologetics level that we have right now in the live chat unbelievable we attract some really dumb people sometimes yeah. i mean we're talking about religion mind. yeah anyways the first woman elected to congress was in 1917. who was that jeanette Rankin. Like, oh. see she look peaceful guy was so confident as well like no you didn't show me when you had a woman in parliament why do you keep saying parliament you're talking about the uh, okay i don't understand this guy's stupid i think we should stop wasting so yeah susanna showed you so fuck off um anyways can we well, and, well do do you have anything you want to add about the actual story about this oh worsening situation for women in afghanistan I thought it was interesting um, how they were saying that uh, many analysts are saying this is just an, it, trying to put, you know, holes in this sopping sponge of people trying to leave for Iran specifically. That would speed up the people who want to leave. Wouldn't it? I know, oh, but they're trying, trying to make it, they're, they're trying oh, to make woman. them less mobile. Yeah. So women can't run away like that. Maybe, maybe. Um, it might also be, I don't know if this, if this is true, I'm just guessing, um, a, you know, a power play between a negotiating leverage f with foreign players, right? So they might dial it up a little bit, make things a bit more strict, right? And then these they get so much like outrage for all these international institutions that want things from Afghanistan to be able to recognize them. And then they undo it to be like, and they, so that the, these other countries could show like, look, they had these horrible things. And then we went backwards. So we're making progress. So now we have an excuse to, le le you know, recognize Taliban because this is what recognizing Taliban as a government and dealing with them would get us. Right. So maybe like you go extra hard and then come back a little bit so that you have something to show, um, as the benefits of negotiating with the taliban and recognizing them as a as a government will get you you know what i mean if that's what taliban is doing that is very smart okay evil but smart well they're probably in the saudi arabia card oh yeah they, exactly. we have so much stuff that is so bad and so authoritarian that any crumb we give you looks like we're liberalizing they, yes you just go full on wahhabi well, Taliban, in the, you know, uh, Wahhabi passion version of Wahhabism. You just go full on Wahhabi and then, you know, dial it up to 100 and everything below that just looks like progress. Yeah. I mean, that is, I don't know if that's what they're doing. It could just be like, we're just for Sharia. That's why we're doing it. We don't have any other <laughs> reason. I mean, it could it, also it could, just be Sharia. <laughs> it could just be as simple like what are you talking about we're just we're just pro sharia 
<laughs> that's why we're doing that uh, <laughs> or it could be like a 3d chess of like you know we're just going full on 100 so that we could use this as a as leverage uh, <laughs> i don't know which one <laughs> yeah so we don't know which one this is one of them is smart one of them uh one of them is not both of them are evil both of them are evil hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy cali you know like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.